Hey sports fans, this Arizona San Diego State game was filled with all sorts of drama and hinged on a crucial stretch of the second half where the Wildcats finally took control after getting beaten on both sides of the ball for the first 30 minutes. While the Aztecs controlled the game with great offensive sets to start, they began to get loose and uncreative, allowing the Wildcats to put the clamps on and get their confidence back. Arizona struggled mightily, and one reason was because Nick Johnson didn't hit a field goal until 2.46 remained in the game. And down four, the Wildcats run some nice misdirection as Gabe York fakes using a back screen, the screener pivots and sets a pin down, and the defender is left three steps behind. Notice the beautiful sway. San Diego State comes down and takes a page out of the Spurs playbook by screening the ball screener first, getting the ball screener's defender out of position, and allowing for this nice crossover floater. Arizona swings the ball and goes down low to Tarzuski, who does a beautiful step through, but this is absolutely great defense. In real time, it was obvious this was not a goaltend, and Steve Fisher will have nightmares about this call for a long time. The Aztecs again run the screen, the ball screener play, and Arizona contains it well. Watch the original screener though. He cuts to the high post, but this is a mistake, since he's only serving to get in the way of the pick and roll. So now he wanders down to the right block, where he's in the way again when the ball handler tries to penetrate. The offense completely breaks down, but is saved when J.J. O'Brien gets by his man and there is no help. Here's a really strange call, which I think must have been a mistake, as two players converge in the left corner, leaving the offense lopsided. Interestingly, it opens up the drive for Hollis Jefferson, and because of the weird formation, there's no help on this wrong-footed layup. More strange offense, where they set a high ball screen, but with two guys standing near the slot on the baseline, this would never be an open drive. It did get a switch, but the Aztecs don't seem intent on taking advantage of the mismatch. Instead, they run another ball screen, and their point guard misses the tough running left-handed layup. Arizona comes right down and breaks into their own quick pick and roll, and watch how McConnell has an almost imperceptible stutter step to freeze the defender, getting him an opening, and in contrast to the Aztecs, he hits the running left-handed layup for their first lead of the second half. As a variation of their screen the ball screener play, they hit the pinch post instead. It gets a little crowded had the point guard gotten the ball back with the player in the strong side corner, but O'Brien uses the space on the right side to attack and get free throws. The danger with running a basic motion offense is that you rarely have five players working in concert with a unified purpose. The motion looks good, but the defense is able to help and recover, and then you get weird spacing like this. However, the ball does move quickly, the defense is terrific at shutting everything down until this incredible tip-in by Aaron Gordon, especially after getting pushed. The Aztecs run a double ball screen, but the ball handler doesn't get close enough to rub his man off the pick. Then they waste a cutter out of the corner who just turns around and goes right back where he started. I can't argue with the results, a nice runner in the lane, but they can't hit it. So I think they're trying to set up a back door cut with this weak side forward guy who again breaks up to the elbow but then stops. But honestly, I can't figure out what they're trying to accomplish with this. On the swing, Thames completely travels on his catch of the pitch but gets away with it to make a nice pass to the roller who gets free throws. And in the key possession of the game, Arizona runs a double staggered screen for the cutter to the corner, and it's defended well. So they turn around and run it again for the first screener. Very clever stuff, and it forces a switch. This is important because now there's a mismatch down low when Arizona gets the board. Arizona breaks back into simple motion, and watch Shepard on the weak side. When the ball swings to the left side, his man is now two passes away. He needs to be at the weak side elbow. Instead, he's way too close, enabling York to curl around the screen. Davis must contest the shot, so he's not in a position to rebound, and again, Arizona gets another possession. Again, Arizona keeps their basic motion flowing, and give a team three shots at it, they're going to make a great move, like this Aaron Gordon crossover dump off for the layup. 
and this became the play that broke the camel's back. Instead of running horns, which they did so effectively in the first half, the Aztecs got stagnant with high pick and rolls, and when they tried to do a simple dribble pitch on the left side, McConnell was simply incredible with his effort to knock the ball away and die for it, then find York cutting down the middle, and this dump off to Nick Johnson finally got him on track as he scored 15 of Arizona's final 16 points to help move on to the Elite Eight.